Okay, so in this video we're going to look around the ArduPilot directory base a little bit. Let's pull up a terminal and let's go to course root. And there's APM, let's go to the APM directory. Okay, we're going to be going to this directory quite a lot, so it might be a little annoying to have to do those CDs every single time. So what we can do is make a new environmental variable called APM that will point to this directory so we can just automatically say CD to APM and it'll take us to this full path. So go ahead and type PWD and grab the full path that the APM directory is in. We'll copy this. And then let's VI into our .bashrc file. We'll type this right here. And then hit enter. And let's go to the very bottom of the file, hit Shift and G, hit I for insert, then hit Enter to make some more space. Okay, so now let's type export APM equals, and now let's paste in that directory that we just grabbed. There we go. And now let's hit the Escape key, let's hit Shift colon, and then WQ. And this will save the content that we just modified. And now we've changed the bash RC file, but now we need to make it official. So let's say, and then hit enter. All right, now let's echo our new environmental variable. Okay, so now we have an easy three letter variable that can take us to this directory whenever we want. So let's go there right now. Let's say cd dollar sign apm. There we go. Let's go and do Arduino pilot. And let's list it and look around. All right, so you'll see we have a lot of stuff in here. Let's go over some of it. So as mentioned previously, the Arduino pilot code base can be built for many different vehicle types. And you can see that here in these directories. You have Antenna Tracker, APM Rover, ArduCopter, ArduPlane, ArduSub. All of this is human readable source code that is specific for that vehicle. Alternatively, you have this right here, the Libraries directory. And all of these vehicle types share some code in this library directory. So there may be some Kalman filters that are defined in the Libraries directory that can be applied to any vehicle type. You might have some different math libraries, things like that. And then once you compile your source code into an executable, a new directory will be made, and that'll be the build directory. And that'll be where the binary compilation of your source code will be stored. But how do we compile the code? Well, the primary tool in Arduino Pilot that is used is the WAF tool. And you need to specify the vehicle type and the hardware target that you're compiling to. So the hardware target just means the specific piece of hardware that you want the Arduino Pilot code to run on. So is it going to be running on a Pixhawk? Is it going to be running on a Navio? We need to install the code uniquely to fit that piece of hardware that we're compiling to. And you can see a list of the different hardware boards that are available to us by doing the following command. All right, so you'll see these are all different hardware types that we can compile to. We have a BeagleBone Black Mini, a BeagleBone Blue, a PixHawk, PX4, Navio. So these are all hardware. And then the cool thing you'll see here is that our SIDL target is listed in the list boards list, even though it's purely a software drone. So the Arduino Pilot code base treats this purely software drone, SIDL, as its own hardware target type. You could think of the target type as your actual computer since that is what the virtual drone will be running from. 